Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. And today we are going to be talking about what, Mike? Uh, um, the birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus Christ. Because That's right, Mike. Jesus is the reason for the season. <laughs> Jesus is the reason for the season. That is right. Okay, so we're going to be talking about a man and a woman in the Bible. And what man are we going to be talking about today? Uh, um, the, Joseph. Joseph. And what woman? Mary. Mary. Okay, so there was a man and a woman in the Bible named Joseph and Mary. And they were engaged to be married. I know what that means. What does that mean? That, that means that they were about to be married. <laughs> it does mean that they were about to get married, right? Mm -hmm. And start their family. So Joseph and Mary were good people. And I chose Mary to be the mother of his child. So one day, Angel... Gabriel, which is me. My name is Gabriel. Oh, <laughs> Angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel. So Angel Gabriel let Mary know that she was going to bear a son even though she wasn't married yet. What? Yes. <laughs> yup, so Mary was carrying God's child. So how did this make Joseph feel? Um, shocked. Shocked. Was he happy about it? No. Joseph was not too happy when he found out that his soon-to-be wife was already pregnant, right? Yeah. So one day, the angel of the Lord came to Joseph, and what did he say to him? You want to read it? Um, yeah. What does it say? Um, and she shall bring forth a son, and so shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. From their sins. After that, Joseph felt much better. Yeah, Joseph felt much better after the angel ex kind of explained what was going on, right? Yep. And one day, everybody was getting taxed. Everybody had to go back to their homelands to get counted, right? So Joseph had to go home to what city? Um, Be Bethlehem. Bethlehem. That's where Joseph was from. So they had to make it back to Bethlehem, but Mary was pretty far along in her pregnancy, right? Her, her belly was probably all big. Yeah. When they got back to Bethlehem, it was pretty crowded. There was a lot of people there. It was really busy. And where did they try to go to find a place to stay? In the hotel. A hotel? Yeah. <laughs> well, there was a place called The Inn, um, which was probably like a hotel back in the day, um, but there was no room. There's no room? No, there was no room in The Inn. So, so because there was no room in The Inn, they ended up having to have the baby in kind of a place where you keep the animals and cattle and stuff. Animals. Yeah, animals. So Mary had the baby, and she placed him in a what? Uh, a, a manger. A manger. And what did she wrap him up in? Um, a blanket. A blanket or swaddling clothes. Which are pieces of cloth. Pieces of cloth that they used back then to wrap babies up. So does she want to keep the baby warm or cold? Mike. Warm. Warm, that's right. <laughs> so what did they name the baby? Jesus. Jesus, that's right. They named the baby Jesus. The all-powerful name of Jesus. So Jesus had some visitors, right? Mm -hmm. So who were some of the people who came to visit him? Um, shepherds. Shepherds, and who else? Um, um, wise men. Wise men. And, and what were some of the gifts that they bought, Gabe? Myrrh. Mm -hmm. um, gold and frankincense. Frankincense? Yeah. That's a big word. It is a big word. <laughs> <laughs> Many prophecies were fulfilled. The Savior of the world was born. Yeah! <laughs> you think Jesus was born, Gabe? So he could save us from our sins. So he could save us from our sins, right? So although many of us like to give presents on Christmas time and receive presents on Christmas time, y'all like presents, right? Yeah, I love presents. <laughs> I, I love presents too. Uh huh. It's so important that we don't forget Jesus and all the things that He has blessed us with. Yep. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.